Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Brutal start. What's up? <laughs> What's up, YouTubers? Zoom, zoom. Yeah, zoom. Zoom. This zoom. is why your voice hurts all the time. Because <laughs> I'm abusing myself. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my channel, subscribers. Bottom Nation. What's up, Bottom Nation? Pew, 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 pew. Today, I'm here with my ex-girlfriend, Jennifer Parker Davis. <laughs> at Jen Parker Davis on Instagram and TikTok. She has some great TikToks. And you went super viral. You got reposted by that huge podcaster, Sophia whatever. Yeah. Very straight. Very straight. You guys don't know her. But you got like 2 million views off, off when she did that. Yes. Thank but you to her. Have her on your podcast, you piece of shit. It's Pride Month. Or just like a date. Too soon. <laughs> it's, been it's been a year. A year. We're, making, <laughs> we're making content about it. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> Just give me a second. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we basically have managed to stay friends mm -hmm. through some ups and downs. <laughs> We're gonna get into the incident. Are we? Oh yeah, we're getting into the incident. <laughs> I want to get into it. And we're gonna talk about staying friends with your exes because. You guys know there is cat hair all over this microphone. Do you want a different one? No, no. It's this cool. is a listen. I know you're bisexual and maybe you've been sleeping with men since me, but when you come into this apartment, there is cat hair everywhere, and that it is homophobic. If you, I have, I live with a cat too. Shh, shh, shh. The content we need the oh. conflict for the content. We need sure. like a good Sorry. YouTube clickbait that's like, oh, they're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's classic youtube stuff <laughs> yeah so basically we've managed to stay friends despite the incident despite the breakup <laughs> and as you guys know the lesbian community it is very small so a lot of you guys your exes were your best friends and are friends with your friend friend group and things like that mm -hmm. right so staying friends is like kind of part of the queer community i think Anything you want to add to that? As a representative of the bisexual community. Oh, I do not want to represent the bi community. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's Are you ashamed of them? Clickbait. <laughs> uh, bisexual ex-girlfriend hates bisexual community. <laughs> I do. Lesbians only, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, just to make this doubly cl clickbaity, okay. Jen's going to do my makeup Woo! during this. We're going to do a full face of makeup mm -hmm. on my face. If you'd like to ask me questions on a future video, you should follow me on my Instagram. Ding! Or follow Jen on her Instagram. She's like, I have to go to work. Ding! Did subscribe! Notifications! Get on my text list. I'll text you when I'm in your city. My shows are 18 plus. Yeah! And if you want the uncut version of this, patreon.com slash WHGS. All right, and we are going to be reading your questions now while Jen does my makeup. It, this is just a mess. This is just all the clickbait that we could possibly get into one situation. <laughs> my God. But this one's from Gianna. Uh, did my podcast. She's huge on TikTok for singing in the car. We love Gianna. G-Wizzle. Um, what did G-Wizzle say? G-Wizzle says, the fact that you're with your ex right now is the gayest thing you could possibly do. Yeah, so it is gay content. See? Happy Pride. No one accused me of my content not being gay. <laughs> it's, I feel Literally, like it's not gay enough. Never, never has happened. Actually, one time... <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, one time, someone did say that they felt that my set wasn't gay enough because I only crowd worked with a straight man in the audience and i was like what about the other 45 minutes of like gay material that I did? <laughs> uh but anyway i hated i blocked her that feels a little unnecessary no she called me a cunt she was like you did you deserve it yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> what is this hi later okay we're giving you a nice little glow okay how to reconnect with an ex she wanted to stay in touch, but I ended contact. Now I miss her. This is a very common one. A lot of people are like writing in about like, when do you reach out? Like, how do you know it's time? How do you do that? And I feel like there are kind of three chapters to our post breakup life. Three chapters? What are the chapters? What do you think the chapters are? D like sads. Sads. Well, your sads ended a lot quicker than my sads. I don't know if that's true. I think that's definitely true. I don't think that's true. I think you got little side piece distraction person pretty quickly. Don't you think that that felt a little quick? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We all get over breakups in our own way. We do. We all choose to do it our own way. Some of us mourned and grieved and cried for okay. several months. Oh, my God. And some of us 
you know, moved on seemingly very quickly. Oh my. Into the mic, sweetie. <laughs> sweetie. It's from the office. This is really, this is like bordering on offensive. <laughs> I'm now realizing my foundation. <laughs> we didn't realize that this would be a, an activist video, but now we're going in that direction. Is it too dark? Oh, it just, it's not that bad. It's it just, just doesn't match my tone. Well, yeah, it's, I wasn't like, anyway. Alex, do your best with this portion. Well, I would say there were the sads and then there was like distant friendliness where yeah. we were like kind of chatting but you were gallivanting around Costa Rica. Yeah. And I was working really, really hard. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> that's what was, that was objectively what was I happening. I have like a full-time job. I think we're forgetting that. It's really, Beach. it's really hard. <laughs> this is hard multitasking. I'm trying to make you beautiful. It's so, like you're not, whatever. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to look good. I'm not leaving the house. I'm just putting this out for millions of people. Potentially millions, let's be real. For like 10,000 people. <laughs> Um, so then there was the Mads, the incident. Yes, so that was the incident that we referred to earlier. I I'm just gonna be totally transparent. Yeah. Jen told me that she would tell me if she was dating someone, and then she kinda didn't, and then I overreacted. <laughs> that is a nice way to put it all. I wasn't seriously dating this person, I was more- You were role-playing as seriously dating this person. I was just gallivanting. It felt pretty serious. There were no, um, neither party was, in the right in the situation. I think. Yeah, we were both pretty wrong. I think I was wrong first, and then and then Ashley was wrong second. Yeah, yeah, I was wrong second, but I w might have been more wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got really upset. Yeah, I just got a quick glimpse in the mirror, also, and that it does look super weird. I I don't feel like myself. Yeah, it doesn't like look bad per se. It just doesn't look like you. It's funny. Um, but yeah, so like. We were both very surprised that we had gotten into an incident. It was like actually kind of toxic. Yes. It was strange. Did not enjoy, not fun, would not, not recommend no, to a friend. Zero out of 10, <laughs> Neither for sure. of us had a good time. And I think we both were like, I think we both kept saying to each other, like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. Like, I can't believe we're fighting like this. Yeah, but then didn't know how to like, un like get out of it. Yeah. And then we just decided that it would be better for us not to talk at all. I think that's probably should have done that from the beginning instead yes. of trying to force like. But then one of us reached out. I think it was me. When you messaged me, I do remember that you came in soft. Yeah. Which I Test thought in was the really good. You don't want to force like anything. I think once you feel like you can have a conversation with this person that might touch on dating and you will not have a nuclear meltdown. Yeah, yeah. That is the time to very lightly <laughs> yes. be like, maybe we should get coffee. Yeah. And and don't overdo it in the beginning. I think go very slowly. Tread lightly. Tread lightly. Yes. What made you want to reach out and think that it was time? We're giving you like a little sunburnt look. Um, oh, I just missed like, you're like what, one of my best friends. It's like hard to, yeah. you know. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? Yeah, I love, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. What, why would anyone want to look sunburnt? I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, I look sun, I do look, I hate the way I look right now. Yeah, it's not my favorite look on you. It but. feels like like insane. Like, why did this woman do this? Also, you can see all my freckles underneath. <laughs> I think I'm just not very good at this. No, you obviously are very good at it. Everyone compliments you on your makeup all the time. I don't think that's true. Someone literally in the in the questions and... <laughs> this is a horrible video format. This is like too why much at once. Why did we do this? Too much at once. Let's go to another question. What's it like having your breakup be known by so many people? Um, and do you still listen to the podcast? And how does that make you feel? Because that's another one that came up. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good one. Um, I really listened after we broke up. Like I was like, I'm not gonna listen. Healthy. I was like, I am not gonna listen. I told you not to listen. You said, don't listen. I said, yes, I will not listen. And then I listened. <laughs> <laughs> because in what? Like that's an insane, like, like who breaks up with somebody and then has full access into like their every thought, who they're dating, like, how are you gonna not listen to that? That's an insane set. There's no like book on what to do in that situation. I'm doing a finger blast from the past. Oh, hell yeah. This is embarrassing. Okay. I'm, um, I'm not the best pooper. 
<laughs> that's crazy um <laughs> so yeah i listened and then i would just be sad and then i would be like but i must know you know so yeah so i listened anyway um and then i stopped because i was like it's, it's just making me sad all the time and then, good for you don't do the emotional self-harm thing yeah try and stay away from it yeah it's so important yeah but what was it like having your breakup oh. on, on the air did anyone reach out to you i literally in the breakup episode yeah which is on youtube go back and watch it <laughs> <laughs> the break the breakup the Re- break is that what it is yeah the breakup shout out brian williamson we love spring. you did anyone reach out because in the video i was like if you fucking reach out to her i will kill you honestly i wish i had more dm slides like no one did fucking losers <laughs> no one even like tried That's my coffee you piece of shit oh do you want coffee no i'm okay sorry People are gonna overanalyze this shit out of that. You <laughs> I, understand that people are gonna be like, minute fourteen fifty seven. Jen took a sip out of Ashley's coffee cup. I didn't mean to. What does this mean? <laughs> um, <clears throat> it means I already gave you the herpes anyway. So <laughs> normalize STIs. Talk about your status. Talk about your status. Ding. And- How's this going? It's going really well. You're spiraling. This is a, there's a lot going, I'm doing There's your more makeup. for you than there is for me, for sure. But did it feel weird? Oh. At all? No, honestly, like, I feel like, I was like, it's a little weird, the concept, but like, no one really reached out to me. It didn't like affect my, like, day to day. I think you got a bunch of followers, because I told everyone to follow you. That's cool, thanks guys. <laughs> What boundaries are put in place for your friendship to work? This one gets a little vulnerable, but like the reason Jed and I broke up, I don't know if you agree with this, is not because there was anything particularly wrong. It's just that I'm really ready for like a lifetime with somebody. Mm -hmm. And Jen, you know, wants to- I'm just a baby. Jen (laughs) Jen, Jen wants to hang out. I think we're just like very vocal and we check in with each other about how we're feeling Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I think so anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gay. It's like how, that's that's the whole thing, isn't it? Emotions It is the whole thing. Yeah, talking talking and feelings. (laughs) I don't know. how Making YouTube videos. Yeah, making YouTube videos, using each other for content. (laughs) One really using the other for content. (laughs) I I think I agree. Oh my God, what is happening? Oh, sorry, I forgot (sighs) to give warning. I'm going to give you like a little wing. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Why don't you start a channel? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You're so pretty. What the fuck? No, I don't like. Okay. Go but ahead. yes, I guess basically you just have to be in constant communication if you're actually going to be friends. And yeah, you just if at any point you're feeling like I can't hear about this, you you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Say it before you then you've heard about it and then you're sad. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Close your eyes. <laughs> now it's gonna be all wrinkled. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <laughs> okay, relax. Mm. <laughs> Fucking garbage. I can't work in these conditions. I, I literally look like I'm in middle school trying to convince people I'm straight. Let's do another question. <laughs> what do you miss most about each other? I mean, <laughs> No, go on. What were you going to say? I was going to say your personality. (laughs) Mascara time. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is going well. uh, (laughs) Do you like it? I love it. She likes it. Oh, I love it so much. I really love it. (laughs) Does Jen think you'll ever get back together? Zoom. Zoom. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, like we didn't break up for any bad reasons. Like oh. there's no reason we wouldn't besides you like finding someone you want to marry. I think that's the big that's ready. the big thing I'm really trying to seriously date. Yeah. And you're trying to get around. Oh my god, I'm trying to find myself as a person. You're trying to find yourself in a person. At Jen Parker Davis. So <laughs> ladies. <laughs> yeah, slide in there. <laughs> Truly. Literally. I want <laughs> <laughs> I want you to have a good time. Are you in a new relationship? I'm not. I'm dating people, but nothing serious. I'm not looking for anything serious, so. Yeah. Just chilling. Ooh, how do you manage talking about your friendship with an ex to a new partner? That's a tricky one. I think you just say it earlier than. Yeah. Like... I get it out of the way almost immediately. Really? We sit down. 
we order dinner. That's a bit much. I say, I'm going to have the spaghetti. Also, I am friends with my ex. And then, <laughs> and then that woman just has to deal with it. Yeah. I think it's one of those things where it's like, if you know that it's healthy, that will come across. If you know it's not healthy, I think it's also totally appropriate to be like, yeah, I am trying to be friends with my ex, but I do have these boundaries. I don't know whether or not it's going to work. But if you are open, honest, and confident in what you're doing, that's the only way to do it. You can't do it secretively because then even if there isn't a problem, you break the trust. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like weird for no reason. Yeah. I don't think it needs to be when you order the pasta though. All right. Let's see what else. This is a really sweet question. How did you shift your romantic love into platonic love? I don't know that that's fully happened for me. (laughs) Oh. I don't know if that will ever switch. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Everyone know like it's very clear that we have chemistry or whatever. But like everyone knows that it it ended because of like timing. Mm-hmm. We, and we talk about this. Mm-hmm. The, ev- we talk about it all because the only way you can do this is just constantly be in communication. But like the thing that'll be the hardest is if I meet someone who's in the same place as I am and yeah. I decide that they're like it. That will be a big earthquake in this friendship for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> and I don't think that's true on your end, unless like. Well, I'm just not honestly, looking for the. But if you met someone and you were like, "I found the one," that would like. Oh fucking, yeah. That would just ruin my life. Oh yeah. Unless it's Timothy Chalamet, that will not happen. <laughs> I think what we're doing is we're trying to navigate it one step at a time and to constantly be talking about it. To make those earthquakes like a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Which is fair and why you wanted to know if I was like dating somebody. Yes. After we broke up. Yes. Yeah. For sure. In terms of shifting romantic love into platonic love, I have another friend that I dated a long time ago and it just took time. Yeah. There's no like clean way to do it. Mm -hmm. But you're such an important person to me. The way that I'm approaching dating right now, I have ended things with people because I just know that they're not in a healthy enough place to be with me and I never would have done that if I hadn't dated you. So like having you in my life is really important to me because you don't you're not just like a person that I love and love, but you're a person that like helped me be a better person. And I know you'll do that as a friend even if we don't end up together, you know? Mm-hmm. Oof. Content. Yes. <laughs> so I'm willing to like go through those because you're an important person. And there are exes that I'm like totally not willing to talk to. Yeah. I don't have a healthy friendship future with them. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we won't be able to weather that next I know. phase. Uh, yeah. Wow. This got like very <sighs> real. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> One of my exes, do you remember this? Who I had, I did not maintain a friendship with. Not that it ended badly with him, but I think it was after we had broken up. But he said, I did not think the next time I would hear about you was on a gay sex podcast. Because I never came out to him. (laughs) (laughs) It was like a long ago one. And I was like, good to hear from you, bud. (laughs) This one just says, girl, you okay? Nah. No. Went to Sunday school once and saw Jen. Any tea to share on that? Sunday School is a great show. It's a great show. Highly recommend. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Do you regret making your relationship slash breakup as public as you did? No. Views. No. <laughs> Content. Content. Content over everything. No, no. No regrets. It was actually quite a cathartic, in some ways, cathartic experience hmm. to have the breakup and to have so many of you guys message me about your breakups. That's when I truly understood the power of the type of content that I'm making. Cause before I was making this content being like, why are people so into this? Like, I don't understand. Cause mm-hmm. I never consumed content like this. Mm-hmm. But then when people reached out to me, am I just tired today? Is that why I keep crying? Well, you always cry. Just made, gave me some purpose. Made me feel like the work mattered. Mm. And uh, the work sitting here putting makeup on my face reading your questions yeah you can't cry with mascara on i'm so sorry you have to get back i'm up. learning i'm learning how to be like a, a girl on the bachelorette and i do not want you to be my husband uh, it looks so natural on you <laughs>
Well, I guess that's it. I think what I've learned from doing this video is that it's messy. Yeah. And when you have a good relationship that can withstand, you know, like difficult experiences, you might be able to become friends. Mm -hmm. But if you don't and you're in a toxic relationship. Yeah, if it's not worth the mess. It's not, yeah. Then just don't has talk. Be, has to be worth the mess. You have to be open and communicating all the time mm -hmm. about whatever it is that you need. Mm -hmm. And artificial boundaries are probably not as helpful as waiting until you're in a space to be fully open mm -hmm. and not have an emotional breakdown because of the openness. I think that's pretty solid advice. Yeah, I guess. But also like- Obviously don't like take... doesn't apply to like bad situations. Yeah. And if you're going through a breakup and you're feeling like, oh, I miss the person that I rely on the most, but I know I shouldn't talk to them, invest in your friendships, invest in yeah. community, keeping yourself busy, the whole shebang. And also take my advice with a grain of salt. I'm not an expert. And there are experts out there. Talk to your therapist. Stuff like that is really much more important than this YouTube channel. <laughs> I disagree. And follow Jen at Jen Parker Davis on TikTok and Instagram. And if you want the uncut ver zoom, zoom, zoom. If you want the uncut version of this, patreon.com slash WHGS. This content was free. This content was fucking free. And you abuse me and you use me for my free content. Please, I need it. I have a full-time employee. I have multiple part-time employees. It goes a long way and you get so much bonus content. It's crazy. Many people have written to me saying that it is more bonus content than they've seen on any other Patreon by a mile. Okay, bye.